It is now the final day of my week in the Merlin Theatre in Froome. I was planning on doing like a recording every day, uh, but <laughs> way too much work, and like I've got three hours here, three hours back each day, and all sorts of admin to do. So I haven't done that. But here is a recap of my week at the Merlin Theatre and the awesome things I found. Ooh. I've got loads of bits of like writing that I've made over the past several months. Uh, and I've been reading through them out loud, performing them and going, ah, this doesn't work, oh my goodness, this bit's great. And then weaving them together, cutting them up. It's like I had 30 minutes of performance that I've done in other scrap, in scrap nights all over the place. And then I've taken those pits, pieces apart like a jigsaw puzzle and then added loads of other pieces of jigsaw puzzles, which they say they are compatible and will work and you'll still get bits of sky without like clouds that jar and they're like storm clouds with nice clouds and stuff. It, it should fit together. But at the moment, I've just got all these pieces, uh, and I've been working through the pieces and saying, this one works, this is good. No, that's a horrible storm cloud piece. Chuck that away. Um, and it's been great having this fantastic space. This is, like, huge, and it's really awesome. And there's a tiny room as well that I've been working in, which is cool. I posted on Facebook at the start. I was like, oh, I don't dance enough in my life, you know? Literally and metaphorically. Sometimes I feel like you just need to listen to the music of life and dance with it. Uh, the only way to cope sometimes. I've taken that literally and had funky dancing warm-ups and I've also done my Lecoq movements, getting back into this idea of space uh, and I've been walking around talking to myself all week, uh, being quite ridiculous because uh, I work on my own, which I may have said. Uh, I tend to have a dictaphone and a camera and I film stuff and I just talk through it and I improvise. Sometimes I put music on and I improvise physical parts and just try stuff and uh, then I watch back in the evening and go, oh, that was good, oh, this is boring, skip, 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 oh my goodness, yes, that, that bit. Um, so all listening and sometimes it's great, I've come up with some amazing ideas for uh, a song for the start of the show and other stuff, but at the same time it's like, yeah, making jigsaw pieces rather than making the actual show. So. Uh, yeah, some bits I've got solid actual bits of show and then other bits I've got loads more jigsaw pieces to root through. Um, but I've got shapes, shapes of stuff which is good. And one of the main things this week is because I want to have a lot of projection in the show and it's like, uh, I don't know exactly how the set will be. So I've been going, oh, I need to have something kind of here and it's a bit like this and then I'm acting it out, filming it and then I can send it to animating people and to myself who's animating. Like, oh, there's a character over here which is like this, while Ed is over here acting to them and stuff. Yeah, so I did like loads of that stuff yesterday, which was really cool. Uh, and I used a Wii remote to manage to get that so that I can operate it if I want to. If I can have it about my person, which I managed to conceal it uh, in a bra. And then with this dress, specific dress that I was wearing, it had quite a, a formed, bust area and I found a way of putting it in so I could just be like ah hmm and these tiny motions changed the projections I was like how cool is that I've had a really good week and yeah now I wish I had like four weeks in all sorts of places and loads of funding to do everything I want to um, but you know I'll take what I've got for the moment next week I'm gonna be in Trowbridge for two days and I've got Salisbury uh, Theatre doing Practice X on Tuesday, uh, which is, I'm doing 20 minutes of uh, Super Hamlet 64 and I've rewritten bits and added extra poems and songs and stuff. So I'm trying those out. Uh, and then the week after I'm at the Shoebox in Swindon. And then I've got a, a performance on the 20, uh, on the 1st, 2nd, 2nd. On the 2nd of March, I have a work in progress performance at the Shoebox. So by that point, I'm hoping to have a shape of everything and some storyboarded projections in place. When I did Hamlet 64, I was like, this is what I want, and I planned it all out, and I made it. And then I got other people to make uh, pixel art, and other people to make animations, um, but I hadn't workshopped the animations as enough before I did it. So some of the bits that I paid people to make really good animations, I just had to cut because they didn't work. And when I got in the rehearsal room. So now what I do is I plan the things, and then I make really rough versions of them with just pencil drawings and stick them in the right places. Um, and then act with them. And if I can get the timing right with these rubbish drawings first, 
then I can be like, oh, hey, amazing artist. Can you draw this frame of animation and this frame and then I'll sort of animate between or whatever. Or I'll spend the time making something incredible, you know, rather than uh, wasting time and money. But that's, that's what my quest is to figure out ways of doing this, getting a good workflow so that um, you're able to devise with the projections. Um, and that's something I'm going to continue developing as I go. Um, uh, anyway, I've got, gone off on all sorts of tangents, but this has been um, a fantastic week at the Froom, Merlin, Merlin Theatre in Froome. Uh, and Claudia and Rosie have been really helpful with the space. And uh, yeah, it's really great. <laughs>